From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston with your evening headlines. At large, Metro Council member John Cooper has had a political change of heart, now saying he will run for Nashville mayor. Current Mayor David Briley, State Representative John Clemens, and retired Vanderbilt professor Dr. Carol Swain are also in the race. Cooper is the brother of Congressman Jim Cooper and serves on a number of Metro committees. The 10% tax on small gyms is no more. Governor Lee signed the bill to eliminate the extra fee today. The amusement tax was a decades old tax rule that only applied to small gyms membership costs. Critics said it targeted small businesses and actually kept Tennesseans out of the gym. That tax cut takes effect July 1st. A police officer shot and killed a man in Pigeon Forge today. The TBI says officers were trying to serve a warrant on Samuel Talbot. That's when Talbot grabbed another person held him at knife point. They ordered him to drop the weapon, but he refused. So one of the officers fired his gun, killing Talbot. No one else was hurt. The NFL draft now just 10 days away and Nashville's hospitality industry is cashing in. Plenty of hotels are full or very near that mark. The Omni has been booked up for about six weeks. Airbnbs are also filling up. The company says a record breaking 21,000 guests are expected to stay in Airbnbs during the draft. That means those hosts will make more than a combined $5 million. Hoping for sunny skies during the draft, but we have the current forecast now from Henry. Hey there, Rory. Yeah, as we go through the rest of the overnight, high pressure will continue to keep our sky clear. That'll take us through a good chunk of uh, the first part of your Tuesday. By the afternoon, a passing cloud here and there, but still very nice conditions expected. Speaking of conditions, we'll look for lows in the 40s, higher elevations towards the plateau in the 30s, and then highs tomorrow, 80 for the city, down towards Murfreesboro, lower 70s, Cookville and Crossville. Rain and thunderstorm chances are back on Thursday into Good Friday. Falling temperatures because Friday's high will be midnight. By the afternoon, we'll be in the 50s. Easter, though, looks dry.